Welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. I am Dietmar Ostermann and I am the regular guy from Long Island. Today we want to cover again Pinot Noir. If you watch this show on a regular basis, you know I'm a cap lover, but there are Pinot Noirs that cap lovers and Pinot Noir lovers like alike. So this series will cover cap lovers Pinot Noirs. I have made shows before on Oregon Pinot Noirs. I have made shows before on the Burgundy Pinot Noirs. And I encourage you to watch those shows. They are copied below in the description. But today I want to focus on California Pinot Noirs and particularly the ones that a cap lover would like. And I have here listed for you number one, one of my all time favorite, often recommended by me, the Bel Glas Las Alturas Vineyard is in Monterey, specifically in the Mission District, which is a little bit south in this whole entire Santa Lucia Highlands uh, Pinot Noir region. Pinot Noir is a grape that grows in cooler wine growing climates. And yes, Monterey in Santa Lucia Highlands is south of Sonoma and Napa, so it's getting pretty warm there, but it's closer to the coast, so it has the cooling influences from the Pacific Ocean. Number two in the lineup, another Pinot Noir for cap lovers from Santa Lucia Highlands, the <laughs> featured in my overall overview tasting from uh, a year ago about Pinot Noir wines. Santa Lucia Highlands in the Monterey area as well. The Roar is a 2017. The Bell Gloss is a 2018. 2018, by the way, great vintage in Santa Lucia Highlands. So if you go out and buy any of those wines, 2018 is a better vintage than 2017. And I have as a third lineup from Anderson Valley, much more north, the FEL from Cliff Lady, here specifically the Savoy Vineyard. Cliff Lady, as you know from my Cabernet series, is this building magnet who uh, decided to go into the wine business. First he created the Cliff Lady Cabernet brand and other wines, and then he created a Pinot Noir sub-brand called FEL named after his mother, Florence Elise Lady. So let's try those three Cap Lava Pinot Noirs. I'm starting off with a Belle Gloss. I have a great new bottle opener here that I'm gonna put to the test. Pops right out. And ladies and gentlemen, I have here with me, as in most shows, my longtime partner on this show, the Cockall, Cocky. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see what we can find out about the Bell Gloss. It looks beautiful in my little glass, crystal. The color is ruby red but a lighter ruby red. See through. Normally, the lighter Pinot Noirs, and there are some very good ones too that people like. I'm just not a lighter Pinot Noir fan. They have a much lighter color. This is a darker ruby red on the light side. Let's give it a sippy sniff. Some oak flavors. This wine is uh, put nine months into oak, so you can smell the toasty oaks in the aromas. Other than the dark fruit, maybe some raspberry in here as well. Earthiness, a little bit of earthiness comes out. Some spice. Overall, a 
plethora of uh, tertiary, secondary, and primary fruit aromas. Let's give it a whirl. A fresh acidity bite on the um, palate. Very balanced. The fruitiness is a mixture of raspberry, but also earthy spice. Maybe some dark fruit mixed in there, like a dark black cherry. The finish is medium to long, not as fruity as I would have expected. Overall, a great wine. I give it a 4.5! So, the Belle Gloss comes in three variants, the Dairyman, the Clock and Telegraph, and the Las Alturas, which is the one that we tasted here today. These are three different vineyards, and right now, I know that all of them are good, but this is the tasting report for the Las Alturas, and I want you to seek out the 2018 Las Alturas. All right, wine number two. The raw. Now it's called raw because there's quite some wind that hauls around the St. Lucia Highlands and the hill ranges there. And that's why they named their vineyard the raw. Let's see what we see here. But before that, somebody is hungry. The cock owl. <coughs> All right, let's take a look. This wine in the glass, significantly more pale ruby color. The bell gloss was darker, significantly darker. This is see-through, elegant looking, but I did like the color of the bell gloss better. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Hints of leather, dark fruit aroma, a little bit of cherry, black cherry, maybe a little bit of blackberry as well. Let's give it a whirl. On the palate, acidity bite, a little bit of chocolate, floral accents as well, the blackberry, and the cherry, as the two fruits come out in the palate quite a bit. The finish is longer than the Belle Gloss, but lighter and fruity. Overall, very good product. I give it a 4.3. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the FEL. The FEL comes in four variants. The basic um, Alexander Valley is about $40, $45. This one here is a $70 wine. It's a premier vineyard. The Savoy vineyard is a premier vineyard from FEL. And let's check this baby out. But before, Okay, this wine has a beautiful color, darker than the Roar, about the same dark ruby red color with a brilliant shine as the Bell Gloss. Thicker lines in the glass indicating higher alcohol content and indeed it's 14.3%. That's pretty high for a Pinot Noir, high alcohol. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Oh, beautiful fruit bouquet. It's a little bit of um, black cherry, but then you have accents of cedar from the oaking process, as well as black tea in here. Complex aromas. I'm even detecting some blackberry. Let's give it a whirl. Beautifully balanced. The black tea comes through. 
just a slight little bit of tannins, high alcohol, fruit palette uh, is more blackberry, black cherry, maybe a little bit of plum in there as well. Long, good, fruity finish. I like this one the best. 4.8 for the SEL Savoy Vineyard. Ladies and gentlemen, California is a great place for the Pinot Noir grape. Obviously the Pinot Noir grape needs a little bit more cooler climate. So Anderson Valley, where the FEL comes from, closer to the ocean, Santa Lucia Highlands, closer to the Pacific Ocean. That's why they're getting the cooling breezes. That's what I call a camp lover Pinot Noir. I'll see you next Sunday at my show. Please follow me on Vivino. And if you like this show, press like it and subscribe to it. See you Sunday.